Welcome students to the third lecture on introduction to fuzzy sets arithmetic and logic. In the last class, we have introduced the concept of membership functions. So, which we have denoted like this mu a of x, where x is an element of the universe u x sorry a is a fuzzy set defined on u and mu a x gives the degree of membership of belongingness of x to a. We have seen that this membership function is an extension of cardinality function on crisp set that is cardinality of x in a set A is equal to 1 if x belongs to A and 0 if x does not belong to A, where A is a crisp set. But when A is a fuzzy set, the degree of belongingness or the membership function may take value in the interval 0 to 1. That is why I say it is an extension from the binary set 0 1 it has now the range of the membership has gone to the interval 0 1. We have also seen that standard set operations Such, such as union, intersection and complementation can be extended to fuzzy set in a similar way union or fuzzy union can be implemented with a max function fuzzy intersection can be done using mean function and fuzzy complement using 1 minus mu a of x function. Of course, 
these are not the only way of achieving union intersection or complementation. Over the years, people have developed different union intersection and, in, and complement function, which are which we shall study in some of my subsequent lectures. So, these max, mean and complementation and uh, say 1 minus mu are called standard union intersection and complementation. Also, we have seen that De Morgan's law that is A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement and A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement also can be achieved by the above functions that is the standard union standard intersection and standard complementation. However, all set operations cannot be achieved through the above operations for example law of excluded middle In crisp set, A union A complement is equal to the universe U, but that does not happen for fuzzy sets. For example, let A be the set point 0.1 by x 1 plus point 0.3 by x 2 plus point 0.5 by x 3 plus point 0.8 by x 4. Therefore, a complement which is a fuzzy set is equal to 0 0.9 by x 1 plus 0 0.7 by x 2 plus 0 0.5 by x 3 plus 0 0.2 by x 4. Therefore, A union A complement is equal to since you are using the max operation for union, for each element x 1, we will check its membership in both A and A complement and I will take the maximum of that. Therefore, it is going to be 0 0.9 by x 1 plus 0 0.7 by x 2 plus 0 0.5 by x 3 plus 0 0.8 by x 4, 
which is not equal to 1 by x 1 plus 1 by x 2 plus 1 by x 3 plus 1 by x 4, which is equivalent to universe u is equal to the set x 1, x 2, x 3 and x 4. Another example is the law of contradiction. For a crisp set, A intersection A complement is equal to phi, that is null set. However, for a fuzzy set that need not happen, For example, with respect to the above problem, A intersection A complement is equal to 0 0.1 by x 1 plus 0 0.3 by x 2 plus 0 0.3 5 by x 3 plus 0.2 by x 4. That is for each element we are looking at the minimum of the memberships to a and a complement. And this is surely not equal to phi which is 0 by x 1 plus 0 by x 2 plus 0 by x 3 plus 0 by x 4. Thus, the law of contradiction does not hold with respect to the fuzzy set. With that background, let us study membership function in some more detail. We have already seen that a fuzzy set can be represented as A is equal to sigma over x mu a x. The examples that we have done just now with a or a complement, we have actually represent the fuzzy set in this way or a can also be represented as the set of tuples say something like x 1 comma 0 0.19, x 2 comma 0 0.7, x 3 comma 0 0.5 and x 4 comma 0.8. So, when the sets are discrete, we can represent as above, but if the sets are infinite, such enumeration is not possible. In such cases,
we use mathematical functions to denote the membership of each element x belonging to A belonging to U to the fuzzy set A. Since we use mathematical functions, it makes sense that the fuzzy set A is defined on R, because on real numbers we can define the function. Note that it can be defined on R 2 that is R cross R or R n in general. We can always define a function on n dimensional space, but in this class we shall stick to membership functions defined on real line. Before going into that, I give you a few definitions. The mode of a membership function is the value x, x naught, such that mu a of x naught is greater than equal to mu a x for all x belonging to u. That means, x the mode of the fuzzy set the membership function to that is that point x naught where the membership value is maximum. For example, If this is the membership function, then this point is the x naught. There can be multi modes. A membership function may be multimodal, say something like this. Also, also it can be unimodal that means, there is only one mode to the membership function, but with several local peaks. For example, if a membership function is defined like this, it may have only one mode x naught, but these are peaks which appear like mode, although they do not have the maximum membership value. The height of a fuzzy set is the membership value at the 
mode. For example, this is the height of the of this fuzzy set or its membership function. When the height is 1, the fuzzy set is called normal. We know that the membership function belongs to the interval 0, 1. So, if the maximum possible value is achieved by at least one member, then we call it normal. So, some examples of membership functions. one triangular. Suppose we have a fuzzy set whose support is the interval a comma c with a mode at b and the membership function looks like a triangle. When this is 1, it is a normal triangular fuzzy set. How do you define the membership function? It is very simple. Mu a of x is equal to 0 if x less than equal to a or x greater than equal to c. That means, on this side it is 0, on this side it is 0. It is defined over the entire real line, but actual support of the fuzzy set is the interval a to c. It is x minus a upon b minus a when a less than equal to x less than equal to b. That means, on this line at any x, this is the membership value which is defined like this and when it is in this interval b to c, the membership value is going to be c minus x upon c minus b, when b less than equal to x less than equal to c. This is understandable from simple geometry. Trapezoidal, the shape is something like this it is a b c and suppose d. So, the support is from a to d and it goes like a straight line up to point c it remains at 1 and from there it goes down up to d. So, the shape looks like a trapezium. Hence, it is called a trapezoidal membership function and the membership values are given as follows. Zero if x less than a or x greater than d, it is x minus a upon b minus a when a 
less than equal to x less than equal to b it is 1 when b less than equal to x less than equal to c and it is d minus x upon d minus c when c less than equal to x less than equal to d. Like that we can specify the membership function for each element in the interval a to d. Some other membership functions are say one can think of this one so when x is equal to a this is going to be 1 but as it deviates from a then membership value decreases. So, it is also it is a normal fuzzy set with mode at a belonging to r. Some other functions I am writing I hope you can understand them very easily e to the power minus modulus of x minus a. So, at x is equal to a it is 1 as x deviates from a it decreases and therefore, it is also a normal fuzzy set with mode at a is equal to r. Another possibility may be this e to the power minus x minus a whole square. So, it will have a shape like this, where this is the mode is equal to a and one trigonometric function that can be used is mu a x is equal to 1 plus cos pi by 2 and it should be defined on x belonging to say 0 1. What happens here? Cos pi x by 2 1 plus cos pi x by 2. So, what happens here? When x is equal to 0 it is cos 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 therefore, it gives gets the value 1 when x is equal to half it is cos pi by 2 and cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 therefore, membership value will get half and when x is equal to 1 it will be minus 1 therefore, membership value is going to be 0. So, like that one can define many mathematical functions which will give you membership values and it is not mandatory that a fuzzy set has to be normal one can actually play with these functions and one can define a membership which is subnormal or whose range is different from what I have given. One note is that the membership function is different from probability density function as with respect to 
PDF, one mandatory requirement is that integration over the domain of p x d x is equal to 1, but such restrictions are not needed for a membership function. We need to be careful that the values are between 0 to 1. With that background, I introduce you to an interesting concept of fuzzy set which is called alpha cut or often we write alpha cut. Let A be a fuzzy set with membership function mu a of x, then the alpha cut of a for any alpha belonging to 0 1 is the crisp set alpha a which is equal to the set of x such that mu a x is greater than equal to alpha. So, we have a set of elements each one of them has an associated membership value. For a given alpha we will look at the set of values for which the membership value is greater than equal to alpha. For example, suppose this is a triangular fuzzy set and this is in the range A to B and this is my alpha that I have taken in the range 0 to 1 then if I look at this line, then consider this interval on the real line. Let us call this interval to be x alpha and y alpha. Then for all these values, the membership value is greater than alpha. Therefore, this interval x alpha y alpha is the alpha cut and of course, we can define for all alphas between 0 and 1. For example, if this is my alpha, then this is going to be my corresponding alpha cut. A similar concept is called strong alpha cut denoted as alpha plus a which consists of elements x such that mu a x is strictly greater than alpha. Therefore, with respect to the previous example if this is my A, this is my B and this is my C and then the alpha cut is going to be alpha cut is as we have already seen is the interval x alpha y alpha. 
but strong alpha cut of A is equal to the open interval x alpha to y alpha, because if the value of x is y alpha, then it touches the membership value alpha. Question is how to determine x alpha and y alpha. So, with respect to triangular membership, we can see that the membership value is 1 at B. Therefore, alpha cut is equal to x alpha y alpha. The values are determined as follows. Suppose, this is my alpha. So, this is my x alpha and this is my y alpha. From geometry, we can see that A minus x alpha upon A minus B is equal to alpha upon 1 implies A minus x alpha is equal to alpha times A minus B or x alpha is equal to A minus A minus B alpha. Similarly, C minus y alpha upon C minus B is equal to alpha upon 1. Therefore, C minus y alpha is equal to alpha times C minus B or y alpha is equal to C minus C minus B alpha. Now, given A, B, C, one can therefore easily calculate the corresponding alpha cuts. Some important theorems on alpha cuts. Let A and B be two fuzzy sets defined on universe U and let 0 less than alpha less than beta less than equal to 1. Then 1 alpha plus cut of A is contained in alpha cut of A. This is obvious to alpha less than beta implies alpha cut of A contains beta cut of A and alpha plus cut of A contains beta plus cut of A. This is also obvious because if this is the membership functions and this is alpha cut, and this is beta cut, we can easily see that the interval x beta y beta 
is contained in the interval x alpha y alpha. Alpha cut of A intersection B is equal to alpha cut of A intersection alpha cut of B. Proof suppose x belongs to alpha cut of A intersection B implies mu a intersection b of x is greater than equal to alpha implies minimum of mu a x and mu b x is greater than equal to alpha implies both mu a x and mu b x greater than equal to alpha implies x belongs to alpha cut of A and x belongs to alpha cut of B implies x belongs to alpha cut of A intersection alpha cut of B. Conversely, if x belongs to alpha cut of A intersection alpha cut of B, then it implies x belongs to alpha cut of A and x belongs to alpha cut of B implies mu A of x is greater than equal to alpha and mu B of x is greater than equal to alpha implies minimum of mu a x comma mu b x is greater than equal to alpha implies mu a intersection b of x is greater than equal to alpha implies x belongs to alpha cut of a intersection b. This shows that equivalence of the alpha cut of A intersection B is same as alpha cut of A intersection alpha cut of B. Similarly, one can show that alpha cut of A union B is equal to alpha cut of A union alpha cut of B. I leave it as an exercise. The proof is very similar the way I did the in the case of intersection a very similar way you can prove for union. With that let me give you an important concept with respect to membership function which is called convexity. We know that a set A is said to be convex if given x 1, x 2 belonging to A, the line joining x 1 and x 2 that is lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 also con is contained in the set A when lambda belonging to 0 comma 1. This concept of convexity is extended to fuzzy sets definition a fuzzy set is said to be convex
if all its alpha cuts are convex. That means, for any alpha between 0 to 1, if we construct the corresponding alpha cut, then if that alpha cut has to be a convex set, we know that all alpha cuts are crisp set. So, it makes sense. Example, consider a fuzzy set membership function like this and suppose I consider alpha to be like that, then the x alpha y alpha this interval, we can see that this is a convex set because we take any arbitrary point x 1 and x 2, the line joining them actually contained in the set. non-convex fuzzy set. Let me give you an example. Consider a fuzzy membership function like this and consider alpha like that. Then the alpha cut is, let me call them x 1 alpha, y 1 alpha and x 2 alpha, y 2 alpha. Then the alpha cut is union of these two intervals x 1 alpha, y 1 alpha union x 2 alpha y 2 alpha and we can see that this is not a convex set because if I take a point here and another point here, the line joining these two point is not content because this part is not part of the alpha cut any such property like the convexity which one can extend from the domain of crisp set to the domain of fuzzy set with the help of alpha cuts is called the cutworthy property. So, I will stop the lecture today with one theorem. So, here is the theorem. If fuzzy set A defined on R is convex if and only if mu A of lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 is greater than equal to minimum of mu a x 1 and mu a x 2, where x 1 comma x 2 they belong to the support of a and lambda belongs to 0. 1. So, effectively it is saying that if you take two points x 1 and x 2 in the support of A, then, then each point on the line joining x 1 and x 2 will have a membership that is greater than or equal to the minimum of the memberships of x 1 and x 2 to the fuzzy set A. Proof 
suppose A is convex, means that alpha A is a convex set that is in crisp set for all alpha belonging to 0 1. Let mu a of x 1 is equal to alpha naught and mu a of x 2 is equal to alpha 1 without loss of generality let alpha naught less than equal to alpha 1. Therefore, minimum of mu a x 1 and mu a x 2 is equal to alpha naught. We need to show that for all x on the line lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 lambda belonging to 0 1 mu a x is greater than equal to alpha naught. Since A is convex, all its alpha cuts are convex. Set. Therefore, since both x 1 and x 2 belong to alpha naught cut of A, the line joining them also belongs to alpha naught cut of A. That is lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 belongs to alpha naught cut of A for all lambda belonging to 0 1. Therefore, for all lambda belonging to 0 1 mu A of lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 is greater than equal to alpha naught, which is minimum of mu a of x 1 and mu a of x 2. Conversely, Suppose this is true, that is mu a of lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 is greater than equal to minimum of mu a of x 1 comma mu a of x 2. We need to show that
for all alpha belonging to 0 1 alpha cut of a is a convex set. Let us choose alpha arbitrarily in the interval 0, 1. Consider corresponding alpha cut. Let x 1 comma x 2 belonging to that alpha cut of A. Therefore, mu A of x 1 is greater than equal to alpha and mu A of x 2 is greater than equal to alpha. Therefore, minimum of mu a of x 1 and mu a of x 2 is greater than equal to alpha. Therefore, by the assumption that mu a of lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 is greater than equal to minimum of mu a x 1 comma mu a x 2, we say that mu a of lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 is greater than equal to alpha for all lambda belonging to 0, 1. Therefore, alpha cut of A is a convex set. Since alpha is chosen arbitrarily, we can say alpha cut of A is convex for all alpha belonging to 0, 1 implies A is a fuzzy convex set that concludes the proof of the theorem. Okay, students, I stop here today. In the next class, I shall explore more on membership functions. Thank you. <laughs>